In music, reverberation plays an important role in enriching sound quality. However, reverberation is a major factor that degrades the performance of automatic speech recognition by computer. Communication Science Laboratories is conducting research on effective speech dereverberation methods to achieve higher automatic speech recognition performance. Let's compare non-reverberant and reverberant speech. Reverberation distorts the speech, making it unclear. As a result, serious problems arise in automatic speech recognition. When we talk to a computer in a room, the computer hears not only the direct sound, but also the sound reflected by the walls and the floor. Such reflections are called reverberation. The effect of reverberation can be eliminated by using inverse characteristics of reverberation. This is called inverse filtering. However, inverse filtering does not work so well when the reverberation characteristics change. For example, due to small positional differences of the speaker or the microphone. Therefore, it is necessary to develop a dereverberation method that is not affected by such changes. Now, let's consider the arrival time of the reflections of the two reverberation characteristics with small differences in the speaker position. The early reverberation part looks sparse, so that small variations in the arrival time greatly affect its frequency characteristics. By contrast, the late reverberation part is dense, which means small variations in the arrival time do not affect its frequency characteristics to a large degree. As such, it is the late reverberation part that is most harmful to automatic speech recognition. So if we suppress this part, we can achieve high automatic speech recognition performance without worrying about changes in position. Communication Science Laboratories has developed a method for effectively eliminating the late reverberation part based on multi-step linear prediction. Multi-step linear prediction calculates the amount of past signal components contained in the present signal. This amount corresponds to late reverberation. Next, we subtract the estimated late reverberation from the present signal. This process is repeated for each successive block of reverberant speech, so as to eliminate this reverberation continuously. Here you see the results of the automatic speech recognition. As the reverberation time increases, the recognition performance decreases. Our speech dereverberation method dramatically improves recognition performance. These results are obtained with a single microphone. Also, by using two or more microphones, performance is further improved. <laughs> Remove your close talking microphones. You will soon be able to talk to a distant computer freely. <laughs> 